All right, Davis James here up at Golden Fly Shop. We're gonna do a new series for you guys on YouTube today. Uh, we're gonna start it off and we're gonna keep it going over the next several weeks. Uh, this is gonna be a knots and rigging series. So uh, for those of you struggling to learn the various knots required to go fly fishing, uh, this should really help you out. Uh, first and foremost, you need to know the clinch knot. This is used for the variety of uh, flies out there from kind of that 12 to 22 range. And it's gonna be a, a really great small profile knot that's gonna give your fly a really good presentation. It's also kind of the easiest one to do. So this is gonna be my hook here. Uh, you're gonna pass your tippet or leader through the hook. Uh, then you're gonna give it a nice pinch. Uh, starting out, it could be a little easier to give yourself a lot of extra tag in when you're learning knots. Uh, and then as you get better at them, you'll learn how to kind of position the material and use and waste less tippet. Uh, so I'm gonna pinch after going through the eye of the hook. I'm gonna rotate away from me. Uh, in, in this, the, the number of turns that I'm doing really is dictated by the diameter of the material. So the thicker the material is, the, le the fewer turns you're going to be able to do. So uh, if this was like a streamer, I would probably do this maybe four or five turns. Uh, if this is a smaller fly, something, you know, especially in that 18 to 22, 24 range, I'll probably do about five to six turns. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do four turns with this material. That was three, here's four, and then I'm gonna come back through the loop we made. When you do that, you're gonna to wanna to hold on to your fly here. You're gonna to wanna to hold on to the tippet or the tag end of your tippet, the standing end, and you're gonna cinch and pull. Now what you're gonna do with monofilament and fluorocarbon is you're gonna wet this knot before you complete this process. Uh, that's gonna prevent the material from heating up and you know causing a weakness in your knot. So you're gonna go ahead and cinch down. And obviously in your mono and fluoro, this is gonna look a lot cleaner. Uh, recommend for your small material, leaving yourself about a 16th of an inch uh, on your tag end when you snip it. Uh, kind of a medium material, more like an eighth of an inch. And if you're using some really thick, burly material, fluorocarbon, you know, zero, one, two X, uh, you might wanna leave yourself more like a quarter of an inch. Uh, but that right there is the clinch knot. That's a great uh, knot to use for the majority of your trout flies. Appreciate it. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Come on into the shop if you want us to show you how to perform this knot. Thanks for watching.